Here he is now protected. The beaver here protects his chin and his mouth. Breastplate, backplate, creases, and of course the greaves. You can lift your visor back up so everybody can see you. Hello, very good. And see, and in times of danger, you can just simply drop the salad once again. Visor once again. On this visor, you will notice there is tiny pinholes here, quite simply to allow the man to breathe. It's just simply to allow him to breathe, and you can actually see very, very well across the battlefield. On the battlefield, this man will be fine with a pole arm, which we've got in the cab if anybody wishes to see it. Or it was alright, we've not got one there, guys. It's alright, just leave it. Uh, well, no, we have got one here, there, so we'll bring it over. And this here, we could give him a sword, because he would have a sword, he's a knight, of course. But we've given a pole arm here, a war hammer, uh, just to show you what way he can actually use it. You see, now, just about the same height as himself, he can use it just like he used the halberd, because he's holding the horse, etc., because he's holding the staff, etc. But he can also, just like a staff, he can use it like a quarter staff, and he can just use the butt of it, or he could use the tip of it to stab people, like so. And he could just simply move it around. If you look, his arms are freely moving there. It's not a problem at all. So anyone you see walking, as you see, yeah, very good, I like that, do that again, I missed it. Just pretend you did it, yeah. Oh, you don't know what he did, yeah, never mind, it was very good anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, there we go, how a knight 